Joe DiGenova, John Brennan will be in front of the grand jury soon. He needs a good lawyer. By Jim Ha for thegatewaypundit.com. Tucker Carlson had legal expert and appointed independent counsel in the Clinton era, Joe DiGenova, on his show tonight on Fox News. He singled out former CIA head, the corrupt John Brennan, noting that he will be in front of the grand jury soon. The former independent counsel was uh, outstanding in his synopsis of the current status of Obamagate. DeGenova said, let's take a listen. I guess. What have we learned? Joe DeGenova has been taking close notes from day one. He's a former U.S. attorney, of course, one of our favorite guests. He joins us tonight with a recap. Joe, what do we know? We know that Hillary Clinton uh, was illegally exonerated. We knew that a year ago. We know that there was a substantial effort to frame the current president of the United States with crimes by infiltrating his uh, campaign and then his administration with spies that the FBI had set upon them. Um, we have learned that the crimes were committed by the FBI, senior members of the Department of Justice, John Brennan, uh, Mr. Clapper, Mr. Comey, and others associated with the Democratic Party, and that Donald Trump and his associates committed no crimes. That's quite a litany. So, to the spying question, when the president tweeted that one morning, and I'll never forget it, yes. they spied on us from Trump Tower. And I don't think there's a single person who read that who thought, well, that's kind of a heavy duty charge. Can you prove it? And of course, he was derided immediately as insane and as a tinfoil hat guy. That's in effect been proved. Oh, absolutely. Categorically and unequivocally, it has been proved that the FBI, in violation of all guidelines, all legislation, and I believe they committed crimes in doing so, purposely sent people into the Trump campaign to plant false information, then force that information to be forwarded back to CIA, and then funneled to the FBI to be used as false information in FISA applications. Everybody involved in that process who knowingly participated committed a crime. So why aren't they being held to account? Uh, as of today, I understand that a referral for criminal prosecution has been made by Mr. Horowitz to Mr. Huber, who is investigating the FISA leaks, the unmasking, the leaks of the unmasking, and everything we described tonight. Criminal referrals have already been made, and I suggest that Mr. Brennan, who loves to make comment about the process, get himself a good lawyer, not a good writer. Wait. John Brennan, the NBC News yes. paid consultant? Yes, NBC News' consultant, the former director of the Central Intelligence Agency, the most partisan hack leader of the CIA in history, needs a very, very good lawyer. Criminal lawyer? Yes, criminal lawyer. Oh, yes. He, he doesn't need a uh, slip and fall lawyer, although he's going to slip and fall. Uh, he's, going to be, he's going to be in front of a grand jury shortly. Well, that's news. Yes. And it's good news. <laughs> Just in general, there's not a single time you've come on where I don't feel better by the end. Thank you. And this is no exception. The country Great. feels better today. <laughs> the country feels better. That's the story. And I hope that happens. He richly deserves it. Yes. Thank you, Joe. You bet. Maxine Waters is at it again. Hero to... We'll cover Maxine Waters later, but isn't that terrific news? I... Cannot stand Brennan. You can see he's corrupt to the core. I am so happy that he is going to be put on the hot seat. And he said he better get a good criminal lawyer. He's going to be facing a lot of charges. And I can't wait to see that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, Thank you so much for watching.